It's your girl. Car ready to be with you. I was getting ready. My night routine is 7.20. I think I forgot the makeup off my face, but there's a snake bug in the background, so I have to retreat. I can't squish it because it stinks, so I got this stuff. I know where the Febreze is at, but I can't use it, but y'all gonna like it because it's not me. I'm trying to flush it out the toilet. Okay, it's over there now. You gotta see that. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Stinkbug. Okay. Mr. Stinkbug, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. One thing only. If you try to hurt me, I promise you we're going to fight the girl. Okay? I promise we're going to fight. I'm going to leave the girl alone because if you're crying, I'm going to cut you up. Okay, this is it. No, go back. <laughs> go that way. What you think this is? Go that way. I don't want you here. You need to leave. <laughs> what is your problem? Huh? You got a pee wee shirt? What's your problem? Pee wee? You want to fight, mommy? <laughs> what the car? Ah. Yeah, did it. I did it. I just got the toilet. Thank God. I did it, guys. Woo, mission accomplished. <laughs> My original plan was to just flush it down the toilet. That's what I did. I took my broom, and my broom has like a hole in it at the top where stuff can fall into the hole. So I let the stink bug crawl into the broom, and then slowly lifted it over the toilet and smacked it against the toilet. I sit down the toilet and closed the lid because it could fly. I'm so scared. Anywho, I guess I'll just finish my routine in here because I think I finished doing my makeup. Look.
come back downstairs. Okay, back. <sighs> okay. Basically, I'm about to do my thing. Wrap my hair up for the night. Tell you already now. Yes, these are pantyhose. Yes, they are old. No, they are not dirty. They are clean. I washed them before I put them on my head. They already have a hole in them, so that's what I'm about to be using for my head. So, just watch and don't say nothing stupid. And this is acting as my do rag because homegirl ain't got a do rag. Homegirl need a do rag though. Still trying to. Homegirl do need a do rag. And y'all probably like, why are you doing that? Because just to let y'all know, this actually really works for a lot. It works fairly well for me because. Um, it just does. See, it works because it's like a skull cap, actually, if y'all really think about it. You're probably like, well, what about the braids? Don't worry about the braids. Don't worry about my button. I'll show you how that works in a second here. Just let me get my situated. Is it my head situated? Okay, we don't want it on my... There we go. We don't want it on our face. No, what I do is I wrap it around. And I'm use these because they're already stretched out. They're really long and stuff. So that's why. Just do it just like this. I also left my scarf at my mom's house. So, so yeah. I usually have a tendency of tying it too tight. Because when I tie it too tight, I can't stand it at night. And then I start crying and stuff. And then I'm up all night. There we go. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. So then for my bun, I just put this on top. So, you know, I'm about to tell my mother something. She might not be happy about it, but she's going to have to understand today because this woman has been there and she isn't. So, she might be upset about this stuff, but I don't care because it's my choice and y'all went behind my back and decided to um say that I'm spending my winter break with you when I wasn't going to necessarily either. I was going to spend my winter break in my room. My house by myself. So there. So I'm about to text her right now and tell her that I'm not missing my uncle and aunt's lunch party, Christmas party, Christmas Eve. I'm going home. Christmas Day, I'm going to be at home, and you can pick me up on Thursday. Pick up on Thursday because I'm going to stay here for Christmas. Christmas is next week. I have exams this week. So yeah. That's what's happening. I'm about to do that right now and I'll text y'all in a minute. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And I told her that I was not staying for Christmas. And she said, we will see. It's my choice. What do you mean, we will see? I was gonna go for Christmas.
So she said, this is what I said. And then she was like, she was supposed to, I was supposed to spend Christmas with her. But the original plan was, I talked this over with my mom way before. This was like Thanksgiving. This was like way before even Thanksgiving happened. Okay, and I made the plan with my mom and I said, okay, well, I'm going to Uncle Leon's Christmas party. And I said, she can either pick me up afterwards or I'm going to stay till Christmas because I'm not missing his party, period. She said, well, we'll see. No, I said what I meant. That is the one you come over this Sunday after your Christmas program. She said that is the plan. You coming over this Sunday after your Christmas program. And then you go home and break this over. No, I go home. On Christmas Eve or day, you can pick, but I am going to be with her on Christmas. Period. If I'm not going, if you're not going to take me home on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, then I come in. Period. Ain't no fact. That's fact. Because what you're not going to do is take me from my mom. No. You might be my mother who birthed me, but you didn't raise me, though. You have to understand, like, this is her first Christmas without her husband. My first Christmas without my father. Ain't no way in the world that I'm about to leave her by herself. No. Ain't no way. So, tell me, you know what I'm saying? This straight up, and I'm being dead serious, like... Either you gonna agree with my terms that Sunday after my Christmas program, you're either going to agree with my terms, or I'm just not gonna come. Period. Period. Point blank. Or, uh, or I can come after Christmas, or I can come after Christmas because. <laughs> Period, sis, ain't no coming before. Because if you're not going to be fair, this is the thing I don't want. I don't want to go over there and then her not comply and take me back. Because if she's not going to take me back, then I ain't going back. Period. Like, I ain't got to come back. No. You're not going to try to take me away from something I don't need to do. Because I already planned this out before you even got involved. Like, no, baby girl. Mother, no. Like, no. You're not about to try to change up my whole plan. No. I'm going to be here in my house where I live, in my bed, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day to be with my mother. Ain't no way that you're not going to let me be with my mom because you didn't raise me. So, I understand, like, you want me for Christmas, but oh well, baby girl. But oh well, mom. Like, oh well. You gonna have to deal. You can see me the day after Christmas. Okay, well. Okay, I told her, well, this is our being discussed. Well, I'm still coming back on the 25th. Period. Mm -mm. The old deal plan was I go after Christmas in the first place, because that's what I told her. You ain't this is <laughs> that's how I don't like don't come trying to tell me what I can and can I do. That ain't it. I don't have to get in the car. I can stay home. I don't have to. Period. Ain't no you can't force me to do anything. 
You can't. Oh, you forgot who I was. I'm your child. You feel like me. Hold on, because... I said, um, last time I checked, I got a set because it was discussed before when we didn't knew about it. So, I said, don't I like, I can't have a choice because I do. Period. Because I do. I told her, I'm saying Christmas here, I say I'll be with you on break anyways, it's not like I'm not coming over. Period. Guys, I'm not a pushover. Um, I don't care for people trying to boss me around to me what I can and cannot do. No. I have a right in wanting to go or not because technically, this is a three-way thing. You cannot force a person to be with you. It's just the same as a relationship. You can't force somebody to be with you if you don't want to be with them. That's not how life works. I made a compel to let my mother in my life. Now, what you cannot do is run the person away because you're not about to do this. No, you're not about to control my break because it's my break, not your break, mine, <laughs> for a reason. Duh. Technically speaking, I don't have to come over at all, discussed or not. I still have a choice. I don't have to go. I do not have to. I can spend my break here. Ain't nobody gonna force me to go nowhere that I don't want to go. And if I go to the point where I feel like she's not gonna bring me home for Christmas, then I'm not going until after Christmas. And that's facts, period, point blank, because this is what you're not gonna do. We'll see. Facts. Oh no. Period. But out. Don't mind my call here, I know. But guys, at the end of the day, you cannot force a person to do something that they don't want to do. That's wrong and disrespectful. I might be 14 years old, but I still have the decision.
She said, yeah, you'll definitely be here, Mary. And I said, like I said, I will. But I ain't coming home for Christmas, mother. Facts. So you're going you gonna to play stupid. You're going to play stupid and run me away. <coughs> Then we really gonna have a problem. We really gonna have a problem then. See? You can't take a person out of my house. I bet you don't. Oh, I still have beef in here. I bet you don't. You ain't forcing me to do nothing I ain't wanna do. That's a three way talk. Back when you say you want it in my life. I talked before I let you back in. I sure did. I made it compel and I said, this is something that I want to do. This is something that we all agreed on. You had to respect my decision too. I'm like, no. You thought you were just going to be let back in my life and you're going to control? No, that's not how it works. Just like we say, gain trust. Yeah, you're going to have to gain trust. Shoot. They didn't like what you, it's not everything not going to go your way either. Like, no. I don't have to get in your car. I don't have to be getting truck off. I don't have to get out of my car. I don't have to leave my room. No. Because, baby girl, <laughs> last time I checked, I have rights. Natural rights. And what you're not going to do is try to tell me I can or cannot do something. Now. I didn't spend my summer with you. I spent my first month of my summer, my birthday, to let y'all know my birthday was a letdown. Because as soon as it happened, I remembered. I said, I wish I had went home for my birthday. Because it would have been a completely different story. No. We didn't do anything for my birthday. I didn't get nothing for my birthday. None of that happened. None of that. It was sad. I cried on my birthday because I was so upset that I didn't have anything. Legitly, we didn't do anything for my birthday. Therefore, I was like, Well, I wish I had to stay home. I said, I'm not doing this again next year. I said, Next year, ain't no way I'm doing this. Never again. Because I was a letdown. Y'all, they let me down. I gave them a chance. They let me down. Theory from blank. Ain't doing it again. So, facts. She said, okay, we'll still start having to have the last word. That's your problem. Girl, bye. And you have a problem too? Like, no. You trying to have the last word. Don't come from me about my problems until you fix your problems. No. Not for everybody. For, 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 not for everybody. Don't try to tell somebody else what their problem is until you fix your problems first. Like, girl. Don't try to come for me. Because that ain't it. Mm -mm. Baby girl, I did 13 years without you. Trust and believe when I say I can go some more. And that's facts. I did 13 years. I had the attitude of my mama didn't want me. And all my friends knew it. They knew it. I was doing perfectly fine. When they mentioned her, I said, I don't know where she's at. And I particularly don't care. I said, if she want to see me, she'll come. She'll find me. You know where I'm at. Now she want to see me. Now she about to mess it up. Baby girl, I didn't did two months. Knowing you, I remember because I didn't come over for about eight weeks. I didn't come over, and he was like, We was all upset, but I was doing okay though. For real, for real, I can do that again. I took myself out of my program for two months because I needed a break. Oh well, I'll do that again. I will remove myself from a situation that I do not want to be in. I will do that, and I have no shame in doing it. Period. And I know my voice sound bad, but that's cool because I'm going to be real with y'all. 
ain't no way in the world you will have to have a gun to my head. Ain't no way that you're about to make me do something that I do not want to do. On God. On the man above. You will have to have a gun to my head. Because it better be life or death. Because here's what your problem is. You missed 13 years in my life that you cannot get back. You came back. You missed 10. And you came back to do phone call. Didn't call till two, three years later. Whose fault was that? Yours. That was on your fault. You did that to yourself. <laughs> came back. Now, we done already had some arguments that made me just want to stop coming. Legitly. Her and my sisters. But I came back for my sisters, not for her. Straight up. I came back for my sisters. Dead. I'm being dead serious, y'all. Yeah, you might have missed me too, but I just want to let y'all know that um, the person who visited me the most out of all of them was my big sister, Mimi. We used to meet at McDonald's. I used to ask her questions about my mom. I did. We used to meet at McDonald's. She used to come to my house. She brought me cookies and stuff. Yeah. To be honest, I can go how I'm doing right now. Jay got her own account. I can talk to Jay and have her talk to the sisters for me. I can have, I got Jada. Jada got her own account. I can have her deliver my messages and I have Mimi. Mimi got her own account. I don't have to go through you to talk to my sisters. Just to let you know. Paige got her own phone. I can call Paige. She got her own phone. There's more than one way just to go through you. I don't got to go through you. Facts. Don't forget, I'm smart. I'm very intelligent. I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. Facts. Well, that's all for this video, my loos. See my mouth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. <coughs> Turn that post notification on. I will do. I'm still doing vlogmas. All Christmas, December. Mm hmm. Also, shout out to GG104. I do shout out. Y'all just got to comment on my videos. That's all. Shout out to GG104. Not only did she comment, like, and subscribe, she followed me on Instagram. Both of my accounts. I have multiple accounts. She followed me on Instagram, liked one of my pictures, commented. Sent me a message. Hit me up on YouTube in the comment section. We talked last night. She's gone. I asked her for her video ideas. That's all you gotta do. But y'all will have to, if you want to talk to me, you can email me at crazybabylulu79. It's spelled just like my channel name. It's at a 79 at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up in the comments. Hit me in the comment section. I answer back. Trust me. I answer back. That's all y'all gotta do. Be some of my little little stages. Bye.